Hi, I'm Dennis Sisbister, Drew Mirren, Wild Fish, Wild Place of Television. We're up here in beautiful British Columbia, catching salmon, getting rained on. We thought it would be some really good information to put out there on how to properly layer for your day out, whether it's here, home, whatever kind of fishing you do. The most important thing is layering and having the right stuff with you. You come up into this area, you're gonna see a variable of conditions. It's not just sun. It's You're gonna see, we saw sun, then it went to wind, and then it went to rain, then it went to torrential downpour, then it went back to sun all in one day. So we are constantly shedding layers, adding layers to accommodate the conditions. Yeah, so the way I start my day, I have a long pair of waiter socks, uh, base layer stuff, and then my waterproof boots. That's how I start. From there, I put on Usually in the morning, I'll put on a light puffy. These puffies are fantastic, by the way. They fold up into nothing, they're lightweight. So I'll put a puffy or even a, uh, a hoodie on. And from there, uh, over top of that, I put my dark and stormy bibs. That's what I like. So the dark and stormy bibs, these are a proprietary system by Grundens. It's called Event. They're 100% waterproof breathable material they'll keep you warm they'll keep you dry and they're they're really comfortable and lightweight they've got a lot of pockets they've got a lot of different adjustments on them so they'll fit a lot of different body types and the breathability is very very important because up here it's so moist that you don't want all that moisture getting trapped inside of you when that, that makes sun, you colder right when that sun does pop out for a little bit you don't want to be sweating and have it trapped inside so make sure the breathable material is really really important and then the jacket I put the jacket on top it was a windbreak and a waterproofing both you know you sit there and it would just start hammering rain no problem I just stood out there and run, ran the down right here I never got wet uh, the cuff design I love the cuff design you cinch it up no water gets up in time a lot of times it likes to wick up that sleeve right. it kept it from doing that and, and you went a totally different approach you know I do something a little bit different when I'm up on the coastal regions I can't go with anything else other than the Grundens Hercules these PVC bibs are super durable I mean you can hit them with a gaff and it won't even puncture them. Uh, when you're dragging up crab pots one after one, you're moving them around. They're just super durable and they really handle that. Plus they cut the wind and they're just, a, they're a great all around bib. That's why everybody works those up here. Now I start off with a sun shirt just because why not? I mean, I love my sun shirts. I can wear them around the lodge and then wear them to the boat. And it's a good base layer just for breathability and comfortability. And then when it's not a real rainy day and we don't want to whip out our, our sort of bulletproof protection of our dark and stormy gear. I went with this lighter jacket. The Stormlight from Grundens is a great, great option just for light mist, light rain. It packs up super tight so you can throw it in your bag. I carry it with me fly fishing all the time just in case that, that storm happens to hit you. But it actually just shears the wind away and the moisture. And then I also put underneath my gauge puffy because this is probably the most versatile item I have ever used. I mean, I have I live in Lake Tahoe and the summer, winter, this stays in my car with me at all times because in the summer nights it gets kind of chilly, you throw your puffy on, it's a great insulating layer. So those three components right there were absolutely phenomenal in, in sort of keeping it comfortable, making us catch fish all day long without catching the cold. But like we said, it's the most important thing. Layering, waterproofing, and warmth. Uh, get those three things together and get out fishing. You'll be, uh, you'll be a lot happier of a camper. <laughs> Grundens. Check them out. We Grundens. love them.